Let's give it one more shot. Let's see. I'll take you all around twice. One and two. Hold on. Pop the Oh my gosh. Whew. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is where the stress comes in. Hey, don't even know how to tie a tie. <laughs> Everybody was just telling me, do you know how to tie a tie? You know how to tie a tie? Well, guess what? I still don't know how to tie my tie. That's my uncle, man. He gets off at nine. It's the. Just that's all. You got two people living in one room. There's kind of stuff everywhere. I feel like home is so much further away than it actually is, you know, especially being that, you know, I don't have to go home, or I don't have to deal with, you know, what's back at home. So it feels like home is way further than it actually is. So, you know, I'm glad about that. <laughs> this is my blue tiger right here. It's my little blue tiger right here. She didn't hold up, so she need a car wash right now. But uh, besides that, she's still rolling hard. Thank you, Uncle Pee Wee, for the car. That's him right there. It's our deluxe kitchen right here. Refrigerator. Dishwasher, because you know college students is lazy. Dishwasher and stove where I throw down at at least once a week, at least once a week. Uh, this is the humble abode. This humble abode right here. So, well, this is the uh, entertainment center right here. We ain't got a uh, flat screen, high def, or none of that, but we working on it. Oh, uh, it's my roommate. What's up, big boy? <laughs> this is my roommate, this is Law, Lawrence. As you can see, this is the room. For the most part, it's the bed. This is where a little action go down at right there, just a little bit. The First thing I told my grandma before I left is, Grandma, I got a bed. <laughs> yeah, I got a bed, Grandma. So, you know, it's much better than being back in Kansas City. I mean, that's, that's basically it, you know. That's the, uh, this is college life right here. This is how we live. This is where we spend most of the time at, right here in, on campus. So, yeah, it's paper. Got uh, wind turbines and stuff. A little paper for uh, my English class. Got to get that in Friday. So, as you can see, it's done. So, we just got to turn it in. I feel that, you know, for the most part, anybody can do it. If you, you know, if you focus, you got a goal in life and you know you seriously trying to make better for yourself i think anybody can do it he would get drunk and he would get high and he would be hitting on me and my sister and it's not like a reprimanding hit more like you somebody out on the streets and i can beat you up and whoop your whoop 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 whoop, whoop. that's the kind of hits we would get problems with me. I try to think positive, come in, greet myself to the client, do their hair. We lost the apartment and now I'm back down with my, at my dad's house. He actually stopped drinking, so it's been a lot more easier. 
I'm here at House of Heaven trying to get my cosmetology license so that I can do hair because I've always loved to do hair. Um, I did my own. <laughs> I'm working at H&R Block as a bilingual customer service rep um, for right now. I want to be able to have my own beauty shop later though. Um, and that's basically what I'm doing, full-time there, full-time here. <laughs> you ever get a can opener? I did get a can opener, and thank you. I got the ball, one play, I did good. Then the next, I got tackled, and when, the way I got tackled, I was trying to push him off of me. And I was pushing him off, he had kind of landed on my, my knee, and I was trying to get away, and I twisted, and I heard it pop. You wanna see the score, huh? It was way worse. Like, when I got out of surgery, my, my mom had a picture on her phone, and then my, my uh, knee was like that fat, and my, my quad was small, but it was small, but opened up like that. It was bad. I was devastated and actually scared. I was, I was, I was like, if I had to have surgery, I always thought, well, I'll just quit. Boom, it hit me. I was like, oh man. I was just like, man, this can't, this can't be happening. I said, I worked so hard to get to this point. And even when people told me I couldn't get here, I got here, and now this happened. I said, I was questioning, like, man, were they, were they true? All the things they was telling me was it true that an inner city kid can't really play college football or go anything anywhere else. Everybody was just looking at me to just take the IL. I went to college and just do great things. But I was like, man, I'm hurt. I got this thought in my mind to quit football, go back to Kansas City, just be another statistic, just done. If I'm just relaxing, I'll just lean back and just zone out. The TV will be on, but I really don't be watching. I just be thinking, thinking of, man, if I was blessed enough to play on that level, that'd be amazing. Because a lot of guys don't get a shot to play college, but a whole lot of guys will get a shot to go on the next level and play. NFL ball, so that'll be just a dream to come true, come to play NFL. I appreciate things a lot more. I mean, my struggle with other than everybody else's may be different. I mean, I grew up, I won't say spoiled, but I grew up blessed. What my family, uh, my parents were able to provide for me, so my struggle with things were different than other. I didn't have to worry about like food or lights being on or anything, but my struggle with going to school, keeping my grades up, doing the things I'm told to do, trying to stay out of trouble, and just like things like this, that, that struggle right there to quit and everything. If I wouldn't have my family support and the coaches pushing for me, I probably would have. That was my struggle. I might have quit then. Get your head in, because you're going right back. Start thinking about it. I need to go to college, try to get more money, you know, because I ain't trying to stay over here in the hood. I'm trying to get out. <laughs> try to live in the suburbs a little bit. What did I do? I really can't explain what I did, because we're still going on with this right now. I wish like to tell it so I could just show you guys how stupid it is, how, how dumb mistake I did, but I can't tell it. I went to tell it so bad, but I just can't say it. <laughs> so you did something stupid. I did something stupid. Something when you want some money and you don't have no money, and I just got, I was working, then I got laid off, which I got fired actually, I got fired. So I decided like, man, I need some quick money. So I tried to do this quick money. I didn't quite accomplish what I wanted to do, so 
That's why I'm still in, in college right now. It messed me up a lot. That's the biggest hurdle I had to go through this my whole life, but I'm gonna get through it though. Right now I'm not working though. Right now the only thing I'm working on is my basketball game. That's the only thing I'm working on right now. Just been at home and cleaning, been just occupied at home all day and going to the park. That's about it. I was locked up for a little bit, but. Ah, you get, when, when you're in there, you just think, you think, like, why did I do this, why did I do that? Everybody was like, oh, Fino, what happened? You didn't go to college? Every person I seen, they knew, was like, Fino, you ain't in college? I'm like, nah, man. It's like, are you sure? Why you ain't go to college? You good, blah, blah, blah. I was like, man, I got into some stuff. I've been doing some stuff. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get back there again, but it's been hard trying to get there, but because I'm just trapped, you know, to me, I was trapped. But I wasn't trapped though. It's like I really can't explain it because once that happened, like as soon as I got fired and all this stuff happened, I was like, man, what do I do now? So I was just stuck for a few months. I didn't know what to do. I was like, man, I'm supposed to be doing this, doing this for my family. But look at me now. I'm with them right now and helping them out. They helping me out. So that just messed me up a lot. Like that's that's the thing about that right now to this day. I was like, man. But that did put me in a big hole, though. Just I just think about that every day, all the stupid stuff I did. But that's that's the we all we all need a hurdle in life. So this is my hurdle, and I gotta get jump over it. So I'm gonna get over it, though. It's a nice one. <laughs>